Sí. Homie trying to smash my wife, man. He never te- he always texts my wife. He never texts me. I don't know why. What? He doesn't even te- he doesn't even text her. He doesn't even text her sexually. He just texts her and like, hey, um, hey, uh, he just texts me and he said that there's a, a spot like a cheap for rent by by my hometown. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. Like, why the fuck is he telling me? <laughs> like, I don't know why. And I was like, did I do something to him? But like, it's not even that's the thing. He's not he's not even saying anything to her that would make me think he's flirting or some shit he's just relaying information to her and okay. not me it's so weird because you're black and you don't have money can you imagine <laughs> <laughs> all the money is i mean hers. i will say i will say after less than a year she already has perfect credit you know what i mean from having zero american credit to just uh you know having a little bitch ass credit card and her credit is perfect already and i was like that's fucking you know what's crazy white that's great i'll tell you guys some some, some wild truth yeah. Last year, my credit score was under 500. Last, Last year? year? It's under 500. Wow. My credit score is currently over 700 right now. That's great. I don't even great. understand how, I don't I, even understand I don't how, know how that you got happened. it that Because I was like, really bad at money, Chris. You were there. <laughs> you, were, you were there. Chris. Yeah, oh, so but you, okay. I guess, for, I guess okay. for me, I just didn't. I just don't. Look, man. I took a couple of hits. I, oh, okay. I, I guess that makes sense. You, t- you, take your, you take your hits, right? And then what happens, it depends on how you maneuver afterwards. What happens is you have to you have to first get one of those truancy credit cards after like it's really bad. You have to get one of those. I just had one. I hated it. I hated it so much. I didn't want to use it. I didn't cancel it, but I held on. So I still have it like a fucking like four hundred dollar limit on it. I've never used that card ever. I buy like bubble gum and shit with it. <laughs> like I buy like the smallest things with it. And now I've got like every week I'm getting a credit card offer. Every yeah. fucking yeah, week. Yeah, it's yeah. The vast majority of my really mail stupid, is, yeah. is credit card offers and it's giant I, wise, I really They're really trying to get me, dude. Yeah, I tanked I tanked my credit score specifically so I could stop getting that fucking mail. Oh. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what's really I hate how important your credit score is in in America. I really it's, hate it's how all, important it's all it's all it's it's in the same vein as lobbyists making sure that the credit cards get their due in the way that say Biden right now, the organization's trying to uh, cut like a lot of the, 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 you know, the debt that is accumulated through late fees and the credit card mm-hmm. companies are freaking out about that because they make tens of billions of dollars just from late fees alone, just from late dude, fees late alone. Fees they make are so what much money. People's credit. Yeah. Ruin people's credit. Like a late fee, dude, one late fee. If right now my credit score is like like upwards of like seven twenty, if I have one, I have one Your one will be late payment, 12. it is going to go below seven hundred. One yeah, yeah. uno, dude, that is absurd. Yeah, it's um, I don't know. It, it this reminds me of like I was just I was it's <laughs> oh, Damn it. so early in the I show. I did it again. So early in the show, I did it again. The, um, but uh, dude, I um. Oh man, that flashbang to me kind of. That, that oh, it, it reminds me of the um, talking about credit cards. I, I hate them too, but it reminds me of um, this story that I heard recently. I was like scrolling through TikTok and I thought it was such a good story. Do you guys know the comedian Mitch Hedberg? No, um, I know the no? name. I just can't see so, the face right now. Mitch Hedberg. He's he looked kind of like Kurt Cobain with sunglasses, and he would go on stage and he would tell these like really like. I I I, I call oh. him. I know he is. I, I called him the te- he's like the Tetris of comedians to me because like all of his jokes are so like pure and simple and perfectly designed, but like they're not like overcomplicated. It's just like it's he's a really good comedian. He he has that, that those famous bits and that famous delivery of like what does he look like? Uh, I just fucking described him <laughs> to you. What race? <laughs> what race? He's an Asian guy who looks like Kurt Cobain with sunglasses. Kingston. That's possible. I, somebody, it's implicit. Somebody, it's kill inherent him. to. Well, race. Hey, somebody kill him. <laughs> somebody kill him. But he, you, he has, he has that famous. I, what are you allergic I, to? I, I, I want to shove it down your throat. I, man, I'm sure you've had. I'm sure you've heard that that bit of him where he goes like, uh, "An elevator can never be, and nev- an elevator can never break. It can only become stairs." And like yeah. that's like one of yeah. his. I think but he, he has that, uh, and he has that. Sorry, delivery. No, no. What were you gonna say? He has that. I was what? like, I think he got uh, really uh, famous through Last Comic Standing. 
if I remember correctly. Maybe he died. He died a long time ago, so I don't know. I don't remember if he was on Last Comic Standing or, or what. But are you sure? Um, he yeah. I'm, well, I, he maybe I don't. I don't have an idea of when Last Comic Standing is was on because I never watched it. I think it was like super. So I don't know if, I was think it early it, I think it came out because he died I, in 05. Yeah, I think it came on the two thousand. Didn't last comic? Isn't it old as fuck? Let, let me make sure. Ma- maybe I don't know. All I'm saying sure. is like, so he had the, there was a story that I was listening to about Mitch Hedberg where he went to a he had like a ton of cash but he had no credit cards. He didn't have a single credit card, and so he would go to places and he would he he would like, I can't remember there was like something about like a deposit that he needed, and he only g- gave cash and he was like, hey here here's all this cash. It should cover everything. It should cover like everything and then some. And they were like, we need a credit card, and they was like, no, but this is what the credit card represents. <laughs> that would be like if you hired a Frank Sinatra impersonator to come play your, play your show or whatever, and Frank Sinatra came, and you said, no, man, we hired the, we hired the impersonator. <laughs> and it's like, one of my, it's like one of my favorite stories of like a comedian outside of... Cause that's like a good bit on its own, but that's just him talking. That was like never on a stand-up thing or anything. But credit cards piss me off. Like I, just, I don't like this dumb secondary thing where it's like, oh, let me just pretend to buy this and then I'll buy it later, and that's what I have to do. Because realistically, there's a chance statistically that I will forget at least once. Right. And that's how you're making your money, and it's it's fucking it's that so one thousand percent why it's a thing. I it's really, I, yeah, I, I really do think sincerely that um, the the credit card is probably like one of the f- one of the primary reasons everything is falling apart. It is a major reason. Is a major reason why people are so fucking broke because there's that that dichotomy of I can't afford anything because everything's too fucking expensive, so I have to buy something with credit anyway. And in, in, the, in the vein that I at least like that some companies are doing something that they should have done a long time ago, that they're actually starting to let people uh, make small payments through just regular debit, like, say, a PayPal will let you do four payments or a Klarna or a – there's all these different companies now yeah. that will let you do – But they're si- fucked in their own ways, too. But they're, well, they're, they're actually – the well. there are certain ones that will act like credit cards, but they're, say, like, say, if you buy a concert ticket, and I think Klarna is the one. It will be, like, four payments and – as far as I'm concerned, I'm looking for the catch, but the only thing that I'm thinking is it's allowing people to spend more money, so that's why they do it. For example, there's a lot of things that I bought. There's some games that I bought. Like when I bought Mortal Kombat 1, I wouldn't have bought it because I didn't want to spend fucking 70 or whatever dollars right away, but then making four payments over like a month, oh, great. So now people are getting more money because more people that are buying than that would have. So I think they're allowing to do that. Uh, so because they make That's more money in the computer. end, yeah. So That's it's like my it's, computer. I paid yeah. like I paid like I, th- I paid like th- two thousand up front, and then like the rest of it was like seven hundred dollars. Was like in like four payments, and I was like, yeah, I'll do that. Obviously, I'll do this fucking up. Put a lump sum I have right now, and then I'll pay the other two off, and it, it yeah. helped my credit as well. So, I mean, if it helps your credit, great. <laughs> I just think everything like I know there's some debit cards now finally that are letting you um, that's affecting your credit, which should have been because it's like <laughs> why is it paying your rent and your cell phone bill and all these things with debit? Why the fuck would that not show you that, hey, you're a reliable you know person? Why? I know exactly you know, why. Yeah. I know why. Yeah. It's, be, I know it's, why. Be, it's, because you, it's because you would remember that and you would never be late. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I knew that, that is I, literally why. That's that why. That's why I'm late. That's why, why, why I'm why, late. Why don't, why don't I'm buy late with my rent all help. the time. That's why I'm late with my rent and my fucking electric bills all the time. Because I, yeah. I, I, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I pay everything at the Doesn't last count. minute. Doesn't count. It's crazy. I pay everything at the last minute because I'm so... I'm so defiant. It just makes me so mad that I have to give up so much of my money to all this bullshit. I'm I like, have I have developed a level of trust with my uh, the the people who own my building that like I always pay, but I pay late, and I just tell them like, look, you're not getting it on the first. <laughs> <laughs> you're not. You know, it's not. I I, just, I met with them. I'm like, you're not doing it because a I get paid at the beginning of the month, and it takes time. Yeah. Also, your dumb payment system doesn't let me do it online, so I have to go get a cashier's check, and that's just. Oh. That might if the first is on a fucking Sunday, then you're not getting it. So you're getting it on the fifth. Deal with it. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and they're they're thankfully they're okay about it. But yeah, usually. it's so annoying. Um, I'm usually, as long I'm as you're like pretty good on it now. I've gotten good on it. I wasn't always good. I was very bad at it once upon a time. 
Now I'm very yeah. on top of it because of how bad I was before. <laughs> mm. And if I yeah. can't do it, I get really upset. I'm like, shit, what have what is this last seven years been for? What has all this time <laughs> been for? To just be as stupid as before? I Man, get I, really down on myself. I just but Lily, really Lily doesn't give a shit because uh. she's never really paid rent. And we live with her, we live at her parents' back house. So she's just like I'll pay those niggas when I pay those niggas. I'm just like, damn, that's, bro, we that's can't. Fucking, that's We're <laughs> renting from them. But she's like, so? <laughs> I'm like, honey, when we move out into another place, we're not going to have that cushion. And At she's all. just like, nigga, so what? <laughs> so what, nigga? So, so what? Exactly she like sips that. on her fucking crazy straw and piss. Like, yeah, whatever. I'm just <laughs> Whatever, blackie. <laughs> and then she just one pokes a gallon of piss. She just one drains a gallon of piss. <laughs> this, it's going down at a stream rate <laughs> dude i i'm reading through I'm, I'm reading through this list of like mitch hedberg jokes and it's like this is i love it because it's all stuff that you could put in like a like if this was a joke book i would buy it because it's it's <laughs> they're so specific mm. i don't have a girlfriend i just know a girl who would get really mad if she heard me say that <laughs> and that's it yeah i love mitch Hedberg so much uh, yeah but i'm like an ancient i think like a past tense he yeah he's like he's very much like a i don't know he's such a weird guy what, what, era, was he, what, what era was he i in? don't actually he died think in 2005 he on last comic mm. standing i don't see uh mitch maybe Hedberg? maybe i just associate yeah. maybe me discovering him around that time of last comic standing is why because the last comic the first one was in 2003 um, maybe but like, uh, I don't see him maybe, uh, on a yeah. season, so I just it yeah. just might be me just conflating the two. I think that's what it was. Oh, he's I know one of those exactly who this motherfucker is. Holy shit! He's one of those kind of like Nas like figures in in the sense that he's like he's a real comedian. He's like a comedian's comedian. Like he's like one of those people. Like he he never really exploded. I think he was about to, and then he 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 was just so stoned out of his mind, and mm. he was on all sorts of like messes of drugs and shit, and he just didn't last. But. Yeah, he was. I feel like he, I feel like he was on the verge of exploding because he's such a weird fucking right. Like his yeah, his style is, is very unique. <laughs> <laughs> he what? said, "This is the dumbest joke I ever heard in my life." I'm mad it made me laugh, but he was like, "They said in the summertime, Jake's got to be ice cold." Well, I hope they're not because then they'd be solid. And I'm just like, that is so <laughs> stupid. It's so good. Like, a I, stupid I, joke. They're they're they're, they're, they're stupid, but they're so good natured. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like it's not like ed- it, I like edgy jokes, obviously, but like, it, there's nothing edgy about it. It's just like it's just like a genuine like. Like my friend asked me if I wanted a frozen banana, but I said no. But I I want a regular banana later. So yeah. But yeah, <laughs> I, I remember stupid. that joke. <laughs> Very dumb jokes, but like joke. they're so good. Anyway, we got I some. We got edgy, no, edgy humor has kind of fallen by the way for me. Definitely. What? Why? I th- I kind of agree only because I think there's a level. There's a lot of people doing it who aren't good at it. And what I mean yeah. by that is, I, I talked a little bit about this on Constellation, but like I I do think, and I might have talked about this on this show before, but I do think edgy comedy is one of those things where it's like I think you have to, like, if you're going to get dirty, you got to pull something out that's worth getting dirty for and a lot of people are just kind of happy just being dirty and being like oh look look at how dirty i am and it's like look how i said to be fair this is like a lot of this podcast (laughs) and we just gotta say it's like n-word and it's like ah and that's but like i think we stumble onto good we we stumble onto good bit right it's not edgy for us to do it because we're not fucking white supremacists that that right there what you just said it's not edgy for us right like it just so happens to be like see, I think one of the reasons why a lot of people are really liking Shane Gillis right now is because his jokes are just his what he does when he's chilling with his friends. Essentially, it's like that dumb shit. So a lot of people are connecting with that in a way that uh, say, who's that fucking guy, Jimmy Carr? Do you know who Jimmy Carr oh, yeah, is? Yeah. Like, I know who Jimmy Carr is. He's yeah. a person that I feel like he's being edgy for the sake of it's cool to do it right now. And his posh ass British accent puts an interesting spin on it, but I just don't. Right. I personally just don't like it because I'm like, I know that nigga isn't with his friends, fucking like trying yeah. to offend some pe- of, you know. Yeah, I like I liked Carr when I was a kid, uh, but like today, and I don't even mind his old material necessarily. I think it's mm-hmm. like it's perfectly suitable for the time. But like the fact that he's still kind of doing that is kind of. I actually think he's like an interesting guy to listen to on podcasts. Actually, like yeah, he's actually like he's kind of interesting to listen to. But besides, yeah, I, I don't really. 
Uh, for, for me, it's like I like I think Edge still has its funniness, but I think stupid is funnier. Like I think <laughs> dumb is funnier. I think I always go with yeah, dumb sure, now sure. because like <laughs> like the idea of the piss joke, right? Like this joke has gone on way too long in, 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 you... in our household, in our friend group, right? But that shit is hilarious because it's so <laughs> stupid. To be fair, though, like, right. you so you right. you are. You are, I think, among us, kind of. You you are the edge lord among us. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably say. Uh, yeah, I would say I'm the edge lord, definitely. Sure, but yeah, I don't you're... even really go for edge more. I just go for dumb. Like that's stupid. Like in, in, right. um, in Thanksgiving, Chris, we were laughing our asses off about the idea of of Vegeta and Goku having racist names, and when they fuse, they turn into the character Black N word. Because the idea of that is so crazy, you wouldn't even if you heard that character's name, you wouldn't yeah. assume that's a future of Vegeta and Goku, right? right at right, right, all. Right. You, no, <laughs> yeah. that is oh. stupid. More than it is, I think edgy. Yeah, that is yeah. just dumb. Totally. <laughs> and that I think is, dumb if, is always funnier. I think that that's why I think, I think dumb outweighs it. Edgy was funnier when I was younger, but I think but, dumb is better. I, now. I think I think the difference is like because Shane Gillis, I would argue, is edgy. I just think it's it's edgy in the way that it's supposed to be. Like he like when he's ta- when he's doing his Down syndrome jokes, it's not like the people with Down syndrome aren't the butt of the joke. You know what I mean? Right. He's like there's even a, I saw a clip of him on a podcast with like Andrew Schultz and some other people. Yeah, he was actually on like kinda, and he was getting offended. I, re- I know. Yeah, he was like kind about. of like annoyed. He was getting because offended the- because Andrew Schultz is an idiot and he's out like <laughs> this is the thing, right? It's like you you have to be the butt of the joke for make a good joke, a great joke. You have to be the butt of the joke. And I think for a long time, a lot Sometimes. of people succeeded in that. Where like Chappelle succeeded in being the butt of the joke himself. He right. was still the butt of the joke. At the end of the day, the situation was funny, but he was the one that's like, at the end of the day, I'm the one that's kind of dumb for not realizing this. But what happened is that Schultz doesn't understand that anymore because he's so Joe Rogan cockpilled. Then a rogue takes his cock out of his mouth. He's like, "Oh, yeah. where's it at?" And he starts looking for it I, I, again. Honestly, like, I haven't, I haven't kept up with Andrews. I, I've seen like some bits of him where I, where I, I like him, but like I, I think I Schultz don't, is uh, funny. I think he's funny. I think he's he a good guy. Funny. So I just think that it, he has. It's weird. He just has moments where his head is up his ass, dude. He's yeah. funny, but he's trying to be. Uh, unfortunately, Tom Segura is doing the same thing. Well, they're putting on yeah. this rich boy persona thing. Like, they're putting on this weird thing that they're changing their identity to where I watched the Andrew Schultz's latest special, and a lot of the jokes were really fucking funny. I remember I was grilling yeah. and listening to it. I'm like, this is pretty good. It's one of the better ones I've heard in a while. But listening to his podcast is damn near insufferable. The, this we- He puts on this weird thing. He's always asking people about money and this and that. And then that stupid bullshit where you have to laugh la- like harder than a joke actually is and touch your co-host and you got to get up out of your seat and all this shit. Like very animated don't get me in a started very on the co-host part. I'm not gonna, I'm, Don't get way. me started. I could, I could go on <laughs> yeah, about yeah, it, how it, unfunny I think. Like I think the black dude is funny because I think he's a good counter to Andrew. Andrew says some dumb shit. I think Anthony's a good counter to him. It's like, oh. He's like, Andrew, that's just fucking retarded. And he just says it to him. And it's like, yeah, you, yeah, he yeah. needs someone to say that to him. But I think his um his co his actual co-host painfully Akash? unfunny. Akash is painfully unfunny to me. Like it hurts me sometimes. I don't even know who that is. Like, He's the one I think, oh, uh, didn't he get me too'd? Is he that's the one crazy. that got crazy? <laughs> It's either way. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's, it's, I'm, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about Aziz. I'm just being totally racist. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he's built the same. He's the same build though. Like they're literally small, like like very short Indian comedians. It's like it's there like isn't if, that many of them. <laughs> there isn't that it's many like of them. If <laughs> if Akash did a freaking after image. It would literally be Aziz Ansari. <laughs> like it's fucking crazy. Like, like, like I will say, wild. I will say, in Akash's defense, I he, when he was talking to Fresh and Fit, oh, he, he was them. fucking yeah, he was absolutely he just them. flaming them. So I was like, hey, fair enough. This guy, he at least he's like, I'm a grown adult. I'm happily married. Why the fuck would I ever watch your guys' content? And I'm like, that's that. Thank you. That's what that people need to hear that. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would sure. love to talk to them. I would love to talk to them. 
I would I would, I would make fun of the dark skinned one real bad. <laughs> I would make fun of him real bad. What does I would he do? Make, like, that nigga does nothing. He's just ugly. I don't know He's just there. Either. I don't get it. He looks, dude. He looks. <laughs> oh god. I'm not gonna say it. I'm, I'm not gonna say it. I'm gonna keep it to myself. That's an thing. edgy joke. All right, let's go. It. Let's go. Let's just move on. Let's move. Yeah, let's move on. Let's um. So what? What the fuck were we? Oh yeah, I, I did want to bring up the fact that um. There's two things I want to get to today, at least before we get into questions. But uh, fucking Rooster Teeth is gone. Mm. Rooster Teeth is is uh, officially closed. Well. I think shut down. Warner Brothers shut him down. Uh, pretty wild. Uh, not surprising. I I actually kind of am surprised that they lasted as long as they did. Really? I, I would have assumed 100%. that. 100%. I really because because I remember back when I was very young. I remember Rooster Teeth being like a huge deal like it, it was like one of the things it was one of the reasons why i started on youtube actually That's was i remember YouTube. early like internet early early mm. like 2007 i remember specifically seeing like red versus blue and being like you can make movies and video games because i remember <laughs> that was like a thing where it's i remember being like oh like i wanted to make movies but i don't have like a ca- like a, a film crew or like a camera or like special effects or like this crazy editing software and it's like oh you can just make it in video games and it's like oh yeah, there's, like, theater mode, and, like, you have access to, like, vehicles and explosions and, like, an infinite camera and, like, weapons and aliens and shit. It's like, oh, it makes perfect sense. And I remember I got into it that way, and they were, like, a big reason. And even, like, throughout, like, uh, I think, honestly, up until I was about to leave for California in, like, 2015, I was watching pretty regularly. I remember when they acquired the Inside Gaming guys, Adam Kovic, um, mm-hmm. Bruce Green, and James Willems, and, and those guys, and I was excited about them. And, uh... I don't know. I fell off after that, and then I remember Bernie Burns, who was the head of the head of the company, left, and he was like the main voice. And I remember being like, "Ah, that sucks." I really, I specifically really liked him, so like, eh, I don't know. And then I remember Ray left, and it, it, and then at some point, I remember I checked back out of curiosity, and I was like, "Who the fuck are any of these people?" <laughs> Not no dis no disrespect to like anybody. I'm sure there's like funny people who were there who were funny or who were good at their job or whatever. But like, I remember just being like, "I don't recognize this at all." Peace. <laughs> like, that's kind of how I felt. It would, be, it would be like if somebody tuned into episode 400 of the Snark Tank and it was none of us. Yeah, or like be, episode, like, you so know what I mean? It, it'd be wild. But that's what would happen. I remember like the Rooster TV podcast, like 500 and something. It's like all people I've never seen. Dude, and that's like, what we Yo. do, though. So instead of, okay, so we do move on, right? We get Keith David. We do move on to another podcast, but we just give it to some other three just people. To someone else. <laughs> that would be, so that would be funny. funny. Hell, I love it. And then we would still be getting paid. We'd still be getting money uh, from they still them, have but to like give us a they're cut using of it. our name, so like they have a platform somewhat. But like, like we're still getting paid a siphon of that because like you're not this is ours. When this that is, happens, is, we'll we'll hand it off. We'll we'll give it to our significant others, and we'll be like, here you do this now. Oh, that'd be fucking excellent. That'd be great. <laughs> that'd be funny actually. That'd be like a kind of like if I mean they wouldn't do it, but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, they would. <laughs> well, we force them. You know, we're the men. We can do. We we we. Uh, I mean, I'm single, but like. Assuming this happens when we get yeah, Keith at David, some point I, I when, hope, yeah. I hope my life is at least in tune with some semblance <laughs> of normalcy by then. But so yeah, they're gone. Uh, a lot of shit went down with them over the years. I remember, I remember a big thing. One of the Let's Play guys uh, sleeping with underage fans when he was fucking forty. Not great. <laughs> Uh, not ideal. Nigga, why you got- and what sucks too is that he he wasn't. Even, you know what sucks about it? And I, look. Everything sucks about it, but <laughs> what I what that's insane. What, <laughs> but but what was crazy about it is like this is a forty year old guy who wasn't even there at the be- at the start of the company. Like this is like new blood, like a new blood hire that they were like, yeah, this old guy or this older guy, yeah. It's like, Gotta damn, snuff him dude, out, for man. no reason, for Gotta no s- reason. It, that sucks. And there's like, yeah, I remember uh, the. Inside Gaming guys, the Funhouse guys lost Adam over some crazy shit uh, that was also like somewhat adjacent, but not exactly the same. I don't, I don't know. It's it, it just that that company has been falling apart for a long time, but uh, they're gone now. Pretty crazy. Big part of uh, YouTube history. Uh, it's too many weirdos. St- oh, uh, yeah, it's just yeah, it's a lot. You can't let your company grow that much. Ultimately, like I just don't I think agree. It, I, I, a company I, can't I, prosper that much, or it will destroy itself. Yeah. Like what's really? it's that Batman? That? It's that Batman quote, man. It's yeah. a, you, 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 I do think that applies specifically to like, con- like congregations of people like that. Like when it's like a corporation or like when there's like a moneyed interest. Absolutely. I yeah. think like you can people, only. Do you think people? I didn't know this for real. Cause I didn't. I didn't. I don't really feel this. But I didn't know that people really 
preyed on people's downfalls, like genuinely, like or wishing for the day that people that are doing very good will fail. I didn't know that was a real thing that people did. Oh yeah, people. Yeah, oh, like, and then I heard haters? about that for real. Like I heard about like, that for real, real one day, and I was like, "What the hell? How do you not? Know, how are you not familiar with the concept of haters? Like, what? I don't understand. No, I understand you're... haters, right? Like, I don't like that guy, but like people being like, I can't wait till this guy suffers. No, that's what a hater care. is. You yeah, know what that, I'm saying? That's, that's, that's not like because I because I hate, Kingston, but I don't, I don't hate like that. Kingston, I don't like this guy. Is not hate. That's like actually like very very benign. I think it, that's it, I, I would have called that as haterism because because no. that's how I that's how I hate. That's not hate. I don't it's loathe not, people. I don't I like. I hate you know. I fucking hate you for for thinking that stupid <laughs> that stupid thing. You hate me for no. not being a terrible person. You hate, hate me you for, for not dumb. holding real hate. I hate you, I hate you for being <laughs> dumb <laughs> and assuming you do. You say like, ah, I hate this guy. When you just don't like him, that's not what hate is. Yeah. That's as far as my hate meter no, goes. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I don't that, believe that. That ain't hate. I, like I stop, loathe. Stop I loathe down, like three stop, things. Stop watering down the word hate, brother. Hate is like yeah, a I wanted to be strong because that's what hate, hate is, is supposed yeah. to be. What is, what is that one? Was plain white tees? Hate is a strong word, but I really, really don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't want. I don't, he's not trying to be a complete dick and say I hate you, but I really, really, really don't like you, nigga. But uh, and those are in the lyrics. But then uh, there was that one black drummer. He's like, hey man, could you take that out? I don't really like that. So I don't know why you got to put the n word at the end of that song. It's kind of weird. That's a true story. Yeah, that's a true story. That uh, is a true story. Yeah. And then uh, that, was hate, an, that was the E True Hollywood story of <laughs> of, of uh, plain white teeth. Plain white teeth. They actually, yeah. hey Delilah was actually it was first. Um, hey there, my nigga. And then again, he kind of intervened. And he was like, hey, you know, it's a little, it's, it's a little. I think it's a little unnecessary. I don't think you need to say, hey there, my nigga. What's it like in New York City? You know, we could, maybe we turn change it to a girl, make it a love song and stuff. I think it would have been better if it was that. I mean, me too. But I think the black, I think, I think the black community would have accepted that song even more. Hey there, my nigga. I, I, I have been like in places where I should city. not have heard that song, and I've heard that song. <laughs> I've been at places where that song should not be playing, and people are dancing to it. People you saw are some getting fucking, wild. To some Tims, some fucking. And I'm like, this is fire. What was uh? What kind of like? Did you guys? Did you uh? Did you guys fuck with Escalades over in the East Coast? Like, what was like a like a, a what was like a car, like a big ass car that people like really fucked with over there? What would you say? I can't remember. Like, mm. yeah, I think I, feel I guess like we had G wagons first over there. I think because of drug dealers and shit. I guess we had like the whole G wagon trend earlier over there. Mm. But they're here as well too. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, was I, don't to, I was so. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't. I never paid, never attention, really paid attention to cars to really. Yeah, I was like, just trying to think of like the the fucking G is car, like just blasting that song. Like I would love, I would love that contrast. <laughs> See some dude, some dude fucking with the twenty fucking six inch rims, has no business listening to that shit. And he's just vibing. I I I love seeing shit like that for real though. I yeah. think Vanessa Carlton did that for a lot of people. I think. Uh, yeah, that's, King, I don't know, man. You, you gotta. You gotta. You you can't be using hate like that. Yeah, for real. I don't really, I don't really, I don't really use it like oh, man, I can't stand this shit. Like there's people like who do I hate? Like I really, I really like I'm, tr- I'm messed up by people I hate. I hate like for real. I hate lobbyists like for real. I want, I want to, I want to devour them. Um, oh yeah, and, yeah. They should all be shot. And I head, hate sure. like uh, I hate people that really truly want to be clowns. Like why would you want that? Like why would you want that? Right. Like I, yeah. like I try to think. Like I try to put myself in their position before I like I snap at them as a people, yeah. and I'm like, why the fuck would you want to be that? You know, I somebody somebody with a larger following um, followed me on Twitter a few weeks ago or a month ago, and um, I didn't really look at her page, and I just thought like, oh, some clown. They avatar just clown makeup or something like that. I didn't really pay attention. Oh, to what was it, it like? Was. Oh, was it like um bounce bouncy or something? something? No, I think it was like bunny or something like that. I don't oh, know, maybe yeah, I read yeah. it wrong. I don't know. But uh, I was just like, oh, okay, whatever. Followed back because I saw people that I know following, so I'm like, must be interesting. Then that's on exactly my, what I do. Yeah. On my uh, on my feed, then I'm just seeing her like in a just looking sexy but with clown, and I was just the contrast to me is so. It is not a. I was like, what? wait, is I, who's watching this? Like, who's this? Who's this for? But uh, the clownies, I mean, man. There's people that are really into this that I, I just 
There's so I want to know. I want to keep... know more Russian. A bunch of clowns at airport. You know. <laughs> yeah. Like I want to. This... I want to do that to them. I want to walk in <laughs> That's and crazy. they're all like at a convention having fun, and <laughs> I'm there to make. I'm there to do business. I'm there to do the Lord's work. You know. Remember, yeah. No bozos. And then you just <laughs> <laughs> no. <bozos. laughs> no. Oh it's man. A mess can't speak the it. can't speak the language, bro. That is that. That mod would be amazing if somebody just <laughs> modded all the they people. They just modded all the Russians as clowns. <laughs> <laughs> I did just That'd be lit, crazy. just wetting the place. I want to see if I could commission somebody to do that. If I see if the code isn't too difficult to work with, and see if they like, hey, could you please mod everyone in the airport as clowns, <laughs> and then you send it to every clown you know. Hey, this you, oh, man, this you. <laughs> But yeah, all right. yeah. Rooster but, uh, Teeth is gone. Uh, Drake Bell got got touched on. Oh yeah, that's a that's a story. I know. I know. Derek wanted to get to it. I actually am not super. Familiar. I I know the vague details of this. Yeah, and, I didn't. I just and, saw Drake trending a little bit, and then they're showing a little clip. I think because that documentary surrounding all yeah, that the Nickelodeon Quiet on Set, right? Is what it's called. Yeah, Quiet on Set. Yeah, it's coming out pretty soon. So they're just showing that, and it was like. Breaking news, Drake Bell said he was sexually abused at 15 at Nickelodeon's dialogue by uh, Nickelodeon's dialogue coach, Brian Peck. That's weird. I wonder Whoa. if he's related to Josh Peck. Can you imagine? Who- yeah. God damn. <laughs> That's lore. That's yeah. lore right there. That is <laughs> lore. No wonder he ran to Mexico. Ran Holy to- fuck. Because it is interesting that he kind of like after, I think he did that superhero movie. I remember my friend was, uh, was, uh, did a little extra work in that. Was- oh, yeah, with Leslie Nielsen. Yeah. Yeah, and then um, th- I think that was the last prominent thing he did. <coughs> as far as I know, he his music career wasn't too good, but the you know Latin community kind of liked some of his shit, so he just went to Mexico. But I at least that's what he said. Now it might have been because of maybe the weird shit that he was doing and blah blah blah, and he thought he should flee the country because uh, niggas a lot of time flee countries for those reasons. Like I always, um, yeah. I remember I used to. Uh, keep up with uh, Jesse Ventura. He's a, he's a pro wrestler, and then he, be- oh, he yeah. became the governor of oh Minnesota. And then he had a show called Conspiracy Theory with Jesse Ventura. And I was like, this guy is insane. I love him. And, and then uh, then he moved to Mexico. And I was like, oh, what did he do? <laughs> I was like, what did he do? So I just don't want to be a part of the government anymore. They're just taking my tax dollars and bombing brown people. And I'm like, well, that's true. But you yeah, also that's, that's valid, yeah. That that I was like respect, but I also just how insane he is. I'm like, who did he rape? I was just thinking, like, who? What did he? What did he do? Like, like, what did he do, man? Like, I I don't know if he ever came back or not. I I I fell off after a while, but he was so fascinating to me because uh, he was Jesse the Body Ventura. Like, I loved um, I loved him in Predator. Fucking Predator. I fucking love Predator. I think it's one of the best fucking. I don't know. Some people say it's a horror film, and I'm like, I don't know. What would you can classify that as? Predator's an action movie, like, but it has some horror elements. Action horror, I guess you would call it. Survival if, if horror. Any, if if that exists, really, yeah. Yeah, because it's like, like it's, vague. It's it's more action. It's like a more action action oriented survival horror. It, yeah. It's kind of like Resident Evil Four. I would put it. And mm. if, if like in the terms of like if this is a horror game, which it I I just wouldn't consider it necessarily. Um, you know why it's yeah. not a horror game? Because you have Napoleon. you're too capable of killing your enemies. That's the thing. <laughs> you're just so, like think because RE4 and RE2 are the same game. It's just that in one of them you can beat the brakes out of your opponent, and in the other one you just can't. That's yeah. about yeah. it. <laughs> it is funny how like how slow zombies are in two. And like they still, you get like ah uh, ah, uh, and then all of a sudden there's hordes of these assholes throwing shit at you. There's way and you, you, you whoop them so hard. You you can yeah. fucking you can go toe to toe with a chainsaw man. Like that shit's crazy that you can even yeah. It's <laughs> you parry with a knife. <laughs> with a Dude, knife. yeah, Resident Evil. That Resident parry with knife is the craziest shit. It's when so I saw cool. that trailer when we when we saw it together. When yeah, I yeah. saw that, I was like, this is madness. It's dope, <laughs> but it's a it's a different it's a difference between a uh, but. Between uh, because I think I think Resident Evil Four is is it like has tension, but mm-hmm. like it's not scary. Like it's right. like a tension game more than more than it is a hard. You're game. absolutely but, right about that. Yeah, yeah, man. I don't know. Like uh, I don't. I'm really excited for this documentary. Not like because I'm gonna be like watching it with a smile or anything, <laughs> but like, <laughs> but like, 
You know what I mean? Like, it's just going to be like, because I feel like, I don't know, man, we got kind of screwed with like the whole Epstein thing. Like, we never really got anything out of that. And so, like, I'm kind of hoping that there's something here that like, because they, they tease that there's like a probably like a big interview. There's definitely in that. So- oh, so- oh, go ahead. Sorry. Well, in that in the movie, like apparently like maybe I think people are going to come forward like oh. officially. So or at least that's the vibe that I got from some of the trailer. It could be mis- misleading marketing or whatever, but like um, I'm checking it out for sure. I definitely will check um, it out. I'm sure they're going to mention that one guy that was con- uh, convicted as a pedophile. Um, oh yeah, they must. Yeah, it, I don't remember if he worked for Disney or Nickelodeon first, but it was one of those things where he either got fired from one place and worked, but he just went from kid company to kid company, even though he was a fucking convicted pedophile. I'm like, this is <laughs> this is <laughs> that is outrageous. Like, how do you? You have one job as like just a hiring person, like oh, <laughs> you don't, no, yeah. you can't work here, obviously. So like you, you, he applies to McDonald's to be the sheriff of the play, the play place, <laughs> the sheriff, <laughs> the sheriff of the play, the sheriff. He walks around stomping around like this is my boy, this is my territory, right? Hey, hey, my little girl. Tar. Hey, little girl. <laughs> You got on too much clothes to be in that uh, ball pit. Stop! Stop that right now! <laughs> stop wild. it now! <laughs> the you don't gotta like, play the character that well, Derek. Stop! Hey, uh, <laughs> he's got a he's got a fucking six. You got a six shooter in <laughs> a fucking badge. I wish I had a six shooter. I think about them a lot, man. I, I never thought that I'd meet a pedophile. Found a way. I found he, a way. <laughs> he found his way in me. He yeah. opened it's up crazy. My what if Kingston, 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 Drake Bell, Drake Bell comes up to you, and he can he he tells you this happened to him. He he goes, Kingston, it's me, Drake Bell. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's are you okay? Are you sick? Always, I am. Uh, me, no, allergy you. season, bro. Allergy season. I'm yeah. getting fucking Damn. annihilated. Yeah. See, so, that's why I, I just stay inside forever. That's good. But uh. Yeah, he comes up to you and he, he says like, "Hey, uh, Kingston, this is, the, this, this is crazy. This happened to me. I'm Drake Bell." And he pushes his hair to the side like that. You know what's crazy? I met him before. You met Drake Bell when I worked at Box Lunch for two weeks. I met Drake Bell twice. Oh yeah, that's right. I think you told me that like when yeah. that happened. Met him mm. twice. All right. Well, uh, did he tell you Burbank. about it? He lived in Glendale. Yeah. Go back. Did to he the, tell you about it? Yeah. Yeah. Go back to the the fucking scene. He didn't tell me anything. I didn't want. I didn't want to. I wasn't like, "Hey, did you, are you a pedophile?" And he was like, "Yeah, actually, in fact, I am." He didn't. That didn't happen. <laughs> it's a shame. Yeah, that's about the conversation that I'd expect. Yeah, fuck. I, I, I hope. I like, uh, do you want a shirt? <laughs> I was like, "Do you want a shirt? Can I bag that for you or something like that?" That's it. <laughs> Kingston, nothing Kingston, special. Kingston is not. Kingston is not the person to talk to about any of that <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah, go yeah. to like you. You talk to literally anybody. You could probably talk to Adolf Hitler and and probably get like a more yeah, at least a, a more back measured, a, re- a more measured response. He'd Tough be like, break. he'd be like, Tough hey, break, I'm, I'm, I'm like, get away from me. That's it. But just get away from me. I'm gonna call the cops on you. That's not even a bit. That's not even. That's that's. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I'm gonna bring something up. It's personal, but I think it's funny. I'll I, I'll keep some details out because it's not it's not super necessary. I just, I laughed when I saw it, but yesterday I was like I reached out to Kingston. I was like, hey, can I run something by you? I'm just weighing out something, and then he was like, what's up? And I was like, ah, never mind actually, because I, I I came to my senses. I was like, it's stupid to come to him for this. And he was like, no, nah, tell me, man. It's always good to have insight from someone else. And then I tell him, like, I write, like, a little a little message about, like, like a, an emotional thing that I'm going through. And he goes, that's a tough one for sure. <laughs> I didn't know what to say exactly at the moment. I know, I know. Busy. I know, but I it was, I, I, no, I'm not, like, mad at it. I just thought it was so funny because I was just like, I, yeah, I know. I'm <laughs> right, a tough one for sure. I'm better, I'm better in person. In person, I know, I'm I much know, better. I know. I know. To be fair, that is true. I, I just thought <laughs> it was so fun. I genuinely wasn't even mad or if I was just like, I looked at it. At just visually, it's so funny. Like to see those. Like, I was like, dude, that's a tough one for sure. I'm, dude, I'm not kidding. Dude, there's this one time my friend, I told the story in a podcast one time, but I don't know if you guys remember. My homie thought someone broke into my best friend. He's my closest friend to this day. I am his daughter's godfather. He was just like, yo, dude, I think someone's in my basement, man. I don't know what to do. I, I'm freaking out, bro. Can you pull through? I was like, yo, man, best of luck. I was like, best of luck. Man. I was like, yo, man. Can you pull best through? Of luck. Best of luck. <laughs> because yeah. this is how, this is my mentality. This is my mentality. I would never drag someone into a situation like that. I would, I, it's, I guess I'm dying. 
Like if I'm in a haunted house and I go downstairs and there's like a demon in the corner, I'm gonna be like, hey guys, run away. I'm gonna let it kill me. You guys leave. You don't deserve to be roped into this with me. Like if I was going through some wild shit, I would never call for help. I would just let, let myself go through it and that's it. So the fact that he called me, I felt a little offended that he's willing to get me killed too. Like, bro, bro, I thought you were cool. That's, uh, that's pretty wild. I thought you were cool. Why would you do that? Yeah, that perspective is funny. Yeah, I get. I guess people aren't normally th- I, in a situation like that because there's certain people I wouldn't call for sure if they were going to be useless. If I thought somebody was actually in my house or something like that, first of all, I, I mean, I, I reluctantly, I guess I would have to call a cop. I don't even know if I call the cops. That's scary. Don't call the cops. You're going to get that's killed. That's scary as fuck. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, that's scary as fuck, but... Uh, none of my homies are strapped anymore. I think only one, maybe. So that's the thing. Like, there would be like to me, it's like, what is even the fucking point? Like, if that person's yeah. strapped, I definitely don't. You know what I'm saying? And usually, a lot of people that are breaking in have a weapon. So in that situation, it would be well. I guess I gotta try to handle this myself. And you know, it's it, it's I would, I would yeah. So I kind of get it. I kind of get it. I wouldn't want <laughs> to bring somebody over to get killed too in that scenario. So I kind of get that. That's not fair to them. What yeah. I would try to do is I tried to sneak around and hit him in the head with a frying pan. Cause, You're not and, sneaking. And because in shows, <laughs> I'm very dark skinned. I'm very dark skinned. So I might be able to sneak you're not, actually. You're not no, because you you're like you would you moving through air would make sound. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a vi- it's like a buzzing sound of me you're just walking big, around. You're, 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 you're too big to sneak. Like t- you're, you're 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 too it's it's impossible. I you think know, I can give sneak. Away. I'm not good at it. You know, you, give it away. Never, you, you fucking you, you could never sneak up you on me your mouth, in a million nigga. years. You breathe through your mouth. I'll give that shit away like fucking immediately. You just fucking like <laughs> that is true. And then they'd be like, what the fuck is that? A fucking dragon and shoot you in the face. They fucking <laughs> see your, is that they a see dragon? You, see your what I would do is a, I would do the You see a black thing. guy in the dark and you're like, is that a dragon? Did you imagine? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> you unload. You unload. You're like, oh, you man, unload a dragon. You oh, unload oh, oh, like that guy, like that guy who shot his own car because the acorn scared him. Dude, that shit. Like it's Look, it's that. That's it's just, that unload. That's just legendary Dog. at this point. That guy's I know if because because this just shit happens, right? People don't understand. A frying pan to the head is <laughs> altering somebody. Yeah, yeah. I, I have seen it firsthand. Could be and lethal. It's really they might, not funny. It's they might way be your friend less after funny that. than you think. <laughs> it's way less. You're like, like oh, this is gonna be funny, and you're like, <laughs> there's a non-zero percent chance. That if you hit somebody really hard in the head with a frying pan and as they're trying to attack you, they could straight up just look at you and remember you as their friend. <laughs> it was like, hey, what's for dinner? Like, oh, hey. Oh, you making Are you dinner, making like, dude? It, that, that possibility is not 0%. You hit them it's, with a frying pan and they just turn into your friend. You crazy. freaking docile them. That's crazy. What if they turn into your lover? Yeah. And then, like he like embraces you and like starts like kissing you and shit, like uh, you know, like oh, how was work? Like oh man, how was work and shit? Like <laughs> he hit him again. He tried to do it. Well, him. I can, well then that's an amazing <laughs> weapon because then because uh, what is a normal frying pan? You've just hit them in the head and then maybe they get a bump and then they go home. You hit them in the head, then they try to sexually assault you, then you sue them, then they're a sexual <laughs> offender, and then they're in fucking prison for fucking ever. Damn. You, you've just given them that's that's a wild weapon. That's good. Just make sure you don't do it to like Shaq or somebody, you know, because. You yeah, ain't winning you that one. You gotta be careful. You're, you're winning you winning that one. <laughs> but Jack no, like do what he wants. Sweeney, I always know Sweeney's approaching. Like it's it's impossible not to. Like I I'm and I know this because I'm just I'm very much the opposite. I'm I'm a, I'm swift and very. I think I've scared Sweeney not even trying to before. Because mm. I've just definitely snuck up. Have. You definitely tried to scare me. And you're just I've definitely been doing my laundry because it's just standing there. Just standing <laughs> way too close to me in the dark. And I'm like, why are you right next to me, Chris? Like, what are you doing right next to me? Like, what is the point of you being this close to me? I also don't like people being near me. I don't like people touching me. Those mm. are my things. I don't like people being near me at all. And I hate people touching me, especially women. But <laughs> that's another that's a story for another day yeah yeah i feel I, that. I feel that i don't know like i i so part of me sometimes that when i see when i when i realize that people aren't aware that i'm around them part of me is like and maybe it's because they don't make splinter cell games anymore and i have to get my stealth fixed when i can part of me is like I'm, I'm gonna see how close i can get without them noticing and it's always successful always I which see. tells me I'm, I'm good at it i think i have recon bones in me or Recon reconnaissance bones. blood in me in some way. I think my dad, because my, my dad was recon. Maybe that. Maybe it. Maybe it. 
It's uh, hereditary. Well, how many? Uh, how many? Uh, uh, he was in the Vietnam War, right? Yeah. How many uh, VCs did he, you know, send to uh, to a Buddha or whatever? <laughs> send, I don't know. Send to I Vietnamese know. Jesus. <laughs> Vietnamese <That was> definitely... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I don't think it was zero. He probably, you probably, yeah, you probably, you've never, have you ever asked him directly? No, I, 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 I've hey, asked nigga, him some. How many niggas you killed? Dad? Some. Oh, he would tell me some stories about how, oh, like, he don't. I mean, I'm, I would, I would never say any of this on on this show because <laughs> I don't think it. <laughs> I don't think it. I think it res- warrants a little bit more respect for like My what happened. That would tell but, me about the situations, not how many. No, he never told me like how many or like he he didn't he wasn't like oh I got this many like it was it was never he would like tell me a conversation where, like, like that someone went missing probably but like he would never yeah. tell me like oh yeah like I killed like I killed like thirteen children and like eight adults and I'm like dang granddad that's sick I mean yeah. oh that's unfortunate as that's I understand cool, it granddad. as I understand it he was he was <laughs> he was recon and I, I, I maybe a I, I was I've been curious about like maybe asking him to do like maybe a video. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I, I kind of, I kind of, just, just, just because I'm curious about, I don't know. When you get older, you kind of think about like, um, what stories your your family has that you might not be able to ask for. You, for, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't want to be like 40 or whatever, and then be or, or like 50 and be like, oh fuck, I never asked my dad any of this. Mm. So I, I've I've thought about it, uh, about like maybe like getting it down just so it exists. Do but, it, do it, and then like yeah, yeah, maybe will. it'll awaken like some crazy thing in him, and he 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 thinks he's like back in Nam, and he starts no, like he's never crawling been, around he's the never floor. Been that. <laughs> he's even there. in two thousand, even in like two thousand, I remember like I remember vividly like nineteen ninety nine or two thousand, like one of those years. Like we would have to like on Fourth of July, we'd have to like worry about the fireworks, not because he would snap, but it would just like he would just be like ah, it's it's just like annoying. Like he would be like visibly annoyed, but he wouldn't like freak the fuck out. And that was like twenty years. I can't even imagine that uh it fa- it phases him at all now, but um Tell you what. It's just crazy. I'm gonna cosplay as Viet Cong. I'm gonna come visit your guys' house. I'm gonna go visit your parents' house. I wanna see how he reacts. I wanna see what his first reaction is. I wanna see if he still got like, it. I wanna see if he like throws like, a what? knife <laughs> in at my head or if he just like like what the fuck are you doing? It's like a fifty fifty. <laughs> you know, he might be like, What the fuck are you doing? No, I Who think he'd you? be like I'd be I think he'd be like, What the fuck are you doing? I, I don't I don't <laughs> think you, he's gonna attack Are you sure? A small Vietnamese <laughs> but yes, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't just know, man. Fucking, they were they, they seem scary. He brings out the biggest know, gun. You've you've never even seen a gun this big before. Like it should be mounted some on crazy a crazy traps in Vietnam though, man. It's crazy. like the, the traps that they they built in the Vietnam. The one with the nails, dude. The the, the, they, the they all had nails. floor one <laughs> it was all the nails. The floor one that you step in and then it, it traps your ankle and you fall onto the nail. That shit is crazy, dude. Mm. I'd numb my own foot off to get off one of those things, man. I just <laughs> numb my leg. Off. Nah, you gotta just take it, man. You just gotta take the pain like that fucking Dune thing. You know, like that bullshit. It's not real. Put Gam Jabbar. Yeah, it's the not pussy real. Pussy starts wiggling around your Gam hand. Gam like, Jabbar. You're like, oh, this pussy's hurting my right. fucking hand so bad. This fucking pussy. <laughs> this this pussy. pussy's <laughs> fucking burning my fucking hand. You're like, oh, God. This fucking been a Jesuit pussy. Dude, that pussy's probably crazy. Oh, would you, do you think you'd right, like listen. die if you like put your dick in a Bene Jesuit? They could probably kill you with, by fucking you. Yeah, they they, I, they, yeah, they I, have ability. They have the um. I would never do it. So like later on in the series, there's a people called the Honored Matres. <laughs> Oh my god, y'all are bad nerds. Whatever, man. Go on, go on. Fenter I, mean, I don't need a backstory, nigga. Just fucking, just quick, quick little in quick the eighteenth century. <laughs> you bunch of fucking, fuck you, bunch of I looney said, tune ass motherfuckers. I just man. made the most I don't care no more. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Let's go. Let's pussy. go forward. This nigga's like back when the. Uh... <laughs> Uh, AG, There's a group of uh, people uh, called the Honor. They're, they're a subsect of the Benny Jesserit, and 10, they use AG. sex to control people. I, I feel, I feel you. Hey, I did a lot. Of, I did a lot of research. I didn't read the books because I was too lazy, but I, I watched probably like three hours of lore at least. So I, I, I feel like Dune is way more interesting to me now. Um, I think I might just watch Dune two without seeing the first one, and then just like maybe just. Like, <laughs> it'll be. A good, it'll probably be a good. It'll probably be I, a good move, but you'll understand why they got there. I, be like, I don't movie. know why they got here. I could just, I could just go back, you know, whatever. 
I think so I, I, love, love, I, did that, I love those books. I did that with Halo in some way. Like Halo Two was the first one that I really paid attention to, and I was like, uh, well, see, During that's not COVID. I dip, dived into that, see, that series. Dune has I read so the first much one in like lore. 2017. There's so much lore that when I watch the, the 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 what is it? What did it come out? 2000 or whatever that fucking movie? Uh, sorry, two, 220? 20, 2020? Was it yeah. the first one? 2020, 2021? Doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, first one, 2020. I was like, yeah, this is cool, but I didn't. L- There's way too much lore to. I, I I just feel like just doing movies like this. It just can't. How the fuck could you? 2021. I just don't know how you could. Somebody who's like a hardcore like Dune fan that knows all the lore that read like the encyclopedia or in the books and shit like that, anything like that could really appreciate it because it leaves out so much shit. Like that, that to me is, is the, the problem where I'm like, I'm not even a hardcore Dune get, fan. And when I started, so I guess it has to be that because they get what you get, but I don't know, man. I, I, I just feel like because that's what they would do to like a, a Mass Effect or anything that if they tried, it would just leave out so much shit. They're like, this is this can't be enjoyable because. They, they, yeah. there's, yeah, you know, whatever though. I think it's still very good, but I understand I'm not gonna get the series that was the book I read. Like in the Dune book, there's an encyclopedia in the back of like 200 words you have to learn before you're done because you just won't understand what they're talking about. Yeah, no, you won't understand the words they're using, you know. And like, I think right. that's very good because it leads to more insightful reading. Clearly, the person that's writing the story about it is trying to teach you a lot of shit about all these the world they were in. Anyway, filled it out, but it's like you know, like, like the the ending of Dune, the first one, is supposed to be a. It's not a good ending for the universe. It's a good ending for the story of Paul. You're like, oh yay, sort of triumphant. But what happens afterwards is super oh, not good. And I wonder if they're gonna go with it or not. Yeah. All right. Let's I don't get think to, they're going to because put their pussy. The world's pussy. Everybody's pussy but me. But still, let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, we got some questions. We got some questions. Oh Christ! Uh, what, all right. What do we? What do we? <laughs> Chris, read Dune. I think you'd like it, man. Uh, maybe. I, I don't know. That nigga doesn't read. Uh, James. James what if it was Somerton. Cool instead of Dune. Would that be funny? I would. I, I would have read it already. <laughs> uh, James. Coon. <laughs> Coon one. Okay. Coon so two. Coon uh, three. <laughs> And it's spelled the same way. Yeah, it's just yeah, spelled like the racial slur. And as cool. the word never comes up in a book, though, ever. No, like, it's spelled. The, it's spelled the way Dune is spelled, but because it, it would it would work still with like the the whole like Dune. semicircle kind of thing that they got going on with the logos. Ah, uh, Dina. Oh my god, it would actually work perfectly. It's actually just the reverse of the D, basically when in the logo. A black character. But that's it. All right, all right. Let's get, let's get James Sand Somerton Coons. plagiarized. Uh, James Somerton plagiarized too mad. Wrote in. Nice. <laughs> uh, that is. We'll see. Phenomenal. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. That's Even at the time nice of recording, thing. we're recording this. We're recording this on March sixth. So oh we don't yeah. Know. Behavior. Some but, people. Uh, oh, oh, I will say real quick before you read it. Some people are saying, and 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 I don't know if this is evidence. They were saying that they were noticing some comments were being deleted on like his channel or I something saw that like too. that. I saw but that here's too. the thing. I think there's a lot of people that think people spend their time deleting comments and they don't understand that there is a um, algorithm that will that is true, yeah. put things in a thing that need for approval. It'll it'll remove shit automatically. I think so many people, even creators, don't understand that. They're like, oh, they're removing comments. I'm like, dude, this happens all the time. You only notice yeah, on negative videos, though, because on negative videos, you're scouring the comments. You're trying, but on positive videos, you never go back to the comments. You just leave a comment and you fuck off. Yeah. So you never notice one, on the positive ones. One one thing I will say, and I, I it would be remiss of me not to mention this, and, yeah. I, and we'll get to your question after this. I, I, but this is relevant in some way. H bomber guy making that video. Which then in turn led to a lot of harassment to James Somerton, which in turn potentially led to this potentially happening. Mm-hmm. Um, I see a lot of people saying, you know, oh, well, he's not responsible for his audience. He even told the people not to harass him in the video. And uh, I agree. However, I cannot not mention the fact that. I remember telling people, uh, criticizing people in videos and telling people don't harass these people and being told that that was not enough, that I was responsible for my audience regardless and just telling them not to harass doesn't work because you know they're going to do it anyway because you're making fun of them in a video. 
Uh, and so I don't know if I don't know if H Bomber guy had that opinion, but I have seen people talk about this that absolutely did. And so I, I to those people I got to be like, listen, fuck you, <laughs> straight <laughs> off. That is so fucking annoying to be like, oh well, it doesn't matter when H Bomber guy makes a video that gets a guy to kill himself, but if somebody gets a couple of mean comments on a video that I made fun of, I'm like totally responsible and totally to blame even though i told them not to go and do that even even though i told them not to harass people what do you Mm. think the difference is Mm. uh yeah i I wonder yeah yeah, i would like you know what the difference is yeah yeah. uh he's he's a white guy and i'm i'm hispanic that's what the difference is that's (laughs) it there you go there there is there is the the the, that's how it works bro there is (laughs) there's i mean there's there's some definitely some variables where it's like this is this this is some (laughs) horseshit of what your you got to be consistent but they never are it's always yeah. like, hey, um, for certain things that people, I mean, mother, I mentioned in the last episode that Zoe Quinn caused, um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, her her ex boyfriend to, to off himself, and seeing people run defense for her in that scenario, and knowing even knowing the story, it's just like now imagine if something like that, even if you were in the right to what you like, let's just say. Chris, you did something. Your ex did something right. horrible to you. You made a video about it. She offed herself or whatever. And you were in the right because it was provable she did. They would still destroy you for it. They would destroy oh, yeah, yeah. you relentlessly, but ran defense for her. You know the difference? You're not in their camp, yeah, it's, bro. Yeah. You're not in their I know, camp. I know. You know, it's, it's, it's fucking... It's so but fucking I, stupid, dude. I hate it. It is really annoying. And, and I do want to mention that, just to clarify, I don't think... I, do, I I do think people are responsible for their, for their audiences to some extent, but at the same time, you know, the important thing is you make the effort to be like, hey, listen, don't do this. And if people don't choose to follow that, that's up to them, really. I, ca- I can't, I can only, you can only do so much. And, and what are you going to do? You're not, you're not going to criticize James Somerton for pl- plagiarizing a bunch of people just in case, just, just because some people might not heed the warning of don't harass this person and, and go harass him. Like, I, 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 does that not extend to like, why does that not extend to everybody? Like, does that extend to Trump? Like, you can't. <laughs> Yeah. You can't criticize Trump because people might harass him, and he might be like, "Oh, I'm sad," and then kill himself. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I, it's 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 a very dumb standard. And for me, I think I think it applies evenly. I think I don't think it's I don't I actually I don't think it's H Bomber guy's fault. I don't think he's responsible for it. No, particularly um, because and I don't think I was when people got what James Somerson did is objectively immoral. I think that's one of the things why I th- there yeah, will yeah. be people that won't even try to debate. Uh, well, there's some people that don't like H-Bomber guy. I see they were trying to pin the blame on him. I've seen that for sure. Yeah. Uh, just ideological fucking battles and shit. But yeah, for yeah, sure, annoying. because people that do fucked up stuff, and if they kind of happen to off themselves, a lot of times people are like, well, if he wasn't doing that fucked up shit in the first place, he never would have gotten that situation, which is true. That is a true thing. When people are doing really fucked up things... You know, he didn't have to do it. You, you could have just wrote some shit like a regular person and not steal everybody's work. And this never would have happened, bro. So sorry. I don't feel bad for that. Yeah. Even if, if he did, if, if if he did off himself. And I want to say, I don't feel bad everybody, <laughs> everybody can say off and you don't have to say unalive like a fucking pussy. Uh, offing somebody's self has been an acceptable term for the longest time. People trying to skirt the YouTube yeah. system. You don't have to say unalive. That's so fucking stupid. Yeah, I hate it. So it is. So I hate stupid. it so it's fucking so much. Unaliving fucking somebody. Yeah, people I, say yeah. that, and I'm like, you can I like just say put to sleep. That's fine, but you could like off themselves has themselves been an acceptable <laughs> like term to nerf it for fucking forever. And so it's like, are you stupid? Yeah. You can't even. Are you too stupid to even? Just, uh, anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Let's we'll continue. The, the situation is the situation is unfolding, but yeah, 100%. we'll we'll I'm sure we'll figure out sooner sooner than later. Um, he says, "Howdy, gay gay tards." He says, "I know you guys uh, enjoy outrageous shows like Xavier Renegade Angel and the Eric Andre Show. I'm wondering what is the most outrageous thing you've ever seen on TV? Uh, 9/11 for sure." <laughs> Yeah, that was that was a pretty that was, <laughs> that was pretty wild. That was a, that was a pretty wild. Thing I, to see. I, did I see it on TV? I absolutely saw it on TV. I remember being, I remember being like, ah, oh. I, I remember, I remember, I, t- I, I told the story on the podcast before, but I remember being like, I remember thinking, thinking it was a movie. I didn't see it on TV. I saw the plane. I saw that shuttle that went up into space and blew up in like 2010 or like nine. I saw that in the middle of tech class. It was hilarious. Yeah. I was, was I wild. laughed out loud and everybody looked at me. And I was crying because I was so nervous at what happened because I've never seen that in person. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, cool. oh. I was like, wow, look at this. And I did a giggle out, but I was freaking out. That's when I first mm. developed 
of my defense mechanism. Because it was so tragic. I don't know if I'm having a, like a Mandela effect, like where, or if there's a different uh, thing it's called where I, maybe hearing about it so much that I think I, I actually saw it or maybe I, basically there was like a high speed chase and then at the end of it, uh, some dude blew his head off in the car. And I feel Whoa. like I saw it. I feel like I saw it, but I'm kind of wondering if I heard about it so much that I think I saw it. But it, as, right. as of right now, I, I think I remember seeing it that they didn't cut out fast enough before the, you know, the blood spatter was just, bah! you know, like so uh, that that was probably if 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 I indeed saw that, that would be easily like seeing somebody blow their head off on light uh, television. Um, what will you spadoodle spadoodle? Which is like, you know, I'm I'm sure because of things like that, that they have like much more of a delay now on television, you know, to like yeah. make sure that they have enough time to cut out. Because, uh, yeah, it's nuts that that can even. I've only seen one video of that, and that was the only video in my life that I could not finish. That guy, that guy that was on the YouTube, like on Facebook Live, and he, he ended up offing himself. That is one of the oh, few I, videos I remember I that, could but I don't, not finish. I didn't see it. What happened? There was some yeah. white guy with like a red hair. He had like a red beard. And he blew his head off, and like literally, like a few minutes later, the cops came in. Like just by a few minutes, they were late. It was really unfortunate. Oh my god, I never saw that. I never watched any really of those. Really sad like, video. Man. I remember that dude that went live and shot that old man on Facebook Live. I don't even remember that. Right, like, yeah, I, I, didn't, yeah. I don't watch any of those, dude. Like I don't watch it, it either. You just, you just, if I get the description, like somebody, I saw that. I think it was you, Chris. That um, you. Sh I think I'm pretty sure it was you that uh, you quote tweeted that guy that decapitated his father because he was like some insane rhydoid. Oh, yeah, and yeah, And he's yeah. like, oh, he's a federal agent. But the thing that annoyed me is that they barely blurred the head in that picture. Like, you can yeah. clearly see his head in the, in a way. I was like, oh, what is the point of putting this slight little, like, fuck, like, that, that's not, that doesn't do anything. Like, if you can it was see like the a, complete... It was like a 2% ga it was like a two Gaussian. It was ridiculous. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Or Gaussian, I, like, I didn't want to see it. this nigga's head and see his fucking... <laughs> I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, that I mean, really I, cool. I felt so strongly that I was just like, people got to see this because, like, I feel like I feel like people don't really... I feel like people truly don't understand how unhinged, like, that fringe of the right wing are. That's true. And I feel like people need to see it. I feel like people are like, look, this guy cut his dad's head off. Look at this. That's a good point. That's a good this point. This is very insane. real... Look at it, look at it. That's a good <laughs> like, point. That's a good point. That is a good point. I, if I, feel I were, the same way about if like, I were, oh, go ahead. If I were Joe Biden, I'd, I'd put that picture up on my fucking campaign, dude. I, I'd put that picture <laughs> up on my fucking website. I'd be like, look at these people. This is the people that you want in power. Are you kidding? Yeah, that's what I would do easily. No, that's but he great. doesn't have the stones. For like it. that's that's great, especially because this is Nancy Pelosi's uh, husband getting hit with the hammer. There's like uh, like all these incidents of crazy shit happening, and I'm like. All right, what's the worst that the right has got? What what do they what do they got to say? Oh, Antifa was beating some people up. I guess that was probably Dude, like I the worst. People, you remember that? I saw them. I saw them trying to compare. Oh, do you remember when Kathy Griffin held up the fake Trump head? Oh no! Like, the fake is like, insane. Prop insane. It was like, it was like the okay the the comedian holding a prop, which I agree was fucking dumb. Also, I thought it was like, retarded. I but did like, too. But that's. At least a couple of degrees removed from, I don't know, decapitating your dad. <laughs> a real because, decapitation. Yeah, like, I, I don't know, man. Whatever. None of these people watch our show anyway, so who cares? We're not yeah. we're preaching to the choir, but yeah, but uh, true, yeah. wild. Wild shit. Anyway. Yeah, we're going to find I, one comment that, I don't know, I thought that dude was based. <laughs> I thought it was based. <laughs> <They're> probably. Like, <laughs> Damn. You got to get this nigga uh, out of here. Uh, let's move on to this one. Yeah, okay. C Conrad Cumminball wrote, and he says, "Hello, various stereotypical flesh named uh, flesh, t t stereotypically named flesh toned dildos. Recently, I've been in a delirious state due to a high fever, and I've been having some humorous thoughts, such as mashing up Folsom Prison and the ball crushing factory bit. My question is this: Have you ever been severely or lightly or light threateningly sick?" And had funny thoughts like that. Uh, well, let me just boil this down to like, have you ever been so deliriously sick that your mind starts to go? Is I think like basically the translation of this. Uh, I've been so sick I've steamed. What does that mean? 
Like there was steam coming off my body. Like I was so sick, I was like steam. I had to get like an ice bath. It was really bad. It was really bad. I don't. That's not possible. One hundred percent is possible. It's insane. I, mm, I don't no. think so. I think you were That's actually hallucinating. Say what you, I think say what you, were, you want. You you, you might have been. No, yeah. I've also, I've, also been so, I've also been so sick. I've been freezing in a hundred degree weather. So I've been there as well. It's been really bad. Yeah, I know you yeah. felt that I, way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I remember. Like, literally, like, it was like steam coming off me. And I was like, this is really bad. Dude, the only te- it, it wouldn't be steam coming I've off of you because you're steam, uniquely sick. I've only seen steam come off of people when they've been out of the sauna and then it's yeah. cold outside. And then that makes sense. Like when there's extreme temperature extreme differences. And like, but you having in a, even being in a room temperature area and saying that you're steaming, steaming bro. I was it's steaming. Fucking like it's it's I was it's, steaming. it's too much. Like I'm like you were hallucinating. Clearly, steaming. Okay, okay. So even steaming. people with co- even people with COVID, cancer, and AIDS don't steam. <laughs> like how how ill do you have to I be to steam? I don't think cancer or AIDS makes you steam. I don't. I don't think it raises your blood pressure. I don't, I don't think it raises the temperature of your body. I think it just makes you die. But, <laughs> like there's, but there's no way your body you. temperature your rises. Body temp- there's no way your body temperature rises to the point where you steam. That's steaming, insane. Bro. I All was right, sizzling, bro. If yeah, I would have slapped you, you would have took fire. You would have took fire damage, bro. You'd be like, yo, I took cooking. fire. That hurt. I, I remember after I got one of the COVID vaccines, I was like hilariously ill. Like really? I, cu- I couldn't believe. Yeah, it was when it was when we were living together. I remember like I was I was like in my room giggling. I was laughing at how much pain I was in because I couldn't believe it. It was like the only way to process it was to be like, this is fucking. Oh, funny, you got the you got the fucking um, you got the Johnson and Johnson, huh? No, I got the Moderna and it was the second. Oh. It was the second. Do- it was just wait. Yeah, it, it was, was just m- it was m- literally Moderna was just. In- Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Whoa, what, what Moderna wasn't what? Uh, I just wanted to make sure it was the Moderna. Was that one of the ones? That was an mRNA one, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm they all to... were. All of the first three were. Well, the Johnson Johnson. No, Johnson wasn't. Johnson was a traditional. I want to see. Yeah, but uh. Okay. Yeah, no, fucking. Okay, never mind. Why? I I, I remember getting the, the the the. I think it was the second Moderna shot. I remember me and Paul got it, and uh, we came back home to our apartment to chill and ride out this because we knew we were going to get sick um, because that's what happens after that vaccine typically to people. So it's like, all right, for like a day or like for like a few hours. I did it. Feel, I, wasn't, feel horrible. I was fine. I mean, I was fine after the first one, too. It was the second one that really fucked me up. Mm, but like I couldn't. Hurt. That's it. <laughs> I could not fucking believe. <laughs> I really could not fucking believe. It was like my skeleton and the rest of my body had were experiencing different, different pains entirely. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like you got COVID right before you got the fucking shot, dude. <laughs> that's what it sounds Maybe. like. I mean, that's. I mean, it's overwhelmingly possible. Yeah. But uh, I did hear that just generally, it's like, hey, look, you're gonna feel rough. Like the idea, the idea that was, the idea generally was that like if you don't feel rough, I mean, that's good. But like, there's a chance that you you might feel basically like like you have COVID. Like it's basically like a speed run through all of the things that you would feel if you were to have COVID, <laughs> minus like the you know the breathing stuff yeah but you're gonna feel like in pain it's like okay and i got home and i was fine my arm just hurt and then i just immediately i think kingston walked in on me like just laughing like in my bed because i just like there was no there was I, it was like there was no i was not connected to any space that was connected to temperature at all i didn't feel hot or cold i was just like in an absence of of any of it so they like accidentally wild. like gave you the joker serum or something and like, like yeah. it was like you got, you got, I could not stop jokium? laughing. <laughs> jokium. Jokium. I, I, I could not jokium. stop fucking laughing. I was sweating. I remember I walk over. I think I, I think I walked over to you and then recited all of Destroy All Humans when you were in your room. And then I I walked into the fucking kitchen all of to get like humans. water. I was yeah. I was a okay, dude. I have, I don't get sick very often. When I get sick, it's really bad though. Like every yeah. time I do get sick, I feel like I'm gonna die. Like, yeah. I feel like... Well, to be fair, like, though, I'm they gave die. you... You got the Johnson & Johnson, which is just, like, basically, like, I sugar get, water. I got, I got... What you call it? I got, um, Sugar water? Sugar water? <laughs> no, I got... What you call it? I think it's Johnson & Johnson. I got Can you the, imagine? Uh, oh, that's right. You got the... Uh, you got the... No, you I, no, you got um the, the real one, the, the Pfizer, didn't you? No, yeah, I got Pfizer. I got Pfizer. I got, I got the yeah, real yeah, one. Yeah, yeah I got Pfizer. Yeah, yeah. It shout out my nigga... Uh, uh, um, um, what's that Italian fuck's name again? Fauci? You know him. He, he's taking over the world, infecting all of us. Uh, what are we transhumanists yeah. or something? That's yeah. that's what's Fo- really folding in it. all. 
yeah, he, he had that he had that wait. video of him. You guys see that video of him folding dogs into origami? Yeah, he was like uh, he was trying to he was trying to test if he can have puppies fit in your back pocket to right, right, for right, easier right. transportation to adopt them. And then uh, right, exactly. Then then the right wing media they got to hold the test, and even though he's trying to do good work, trying to uh, you yeah, know. They, Make it convenient they, to adopt. <laughs> they, they, had to a, they had to make it. <laughs> they had to make it's, it political. They had to make it. They had to. They had to make science political. It's crazy. Yeah. I, I love mean, the idea of putting yeah. puppies in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wouldn't you love that? Wouldn't you love a puppy in your pocket that the isn't idea, like a that, fucking Nintendo it's dog? It's so cute. The idea you're like hanging out with your friends. Like, what's in your pocket? Oh, it's my little puppy that sticks a little head out. Like a regular mm. little puppy sticks a little head out. It's like bark, bark, and it goes back in. Fold it. And no, you don't unfold puppy. it. That just sounds. Kings, did you see that video? Kings, did you see that video of the big rat under the in in the subway that drags the other rat under the dumpster? Did you see that? Dude, I when I went back to New York recently, like two years ago, I was so under. I was so upset about how disgusting New York City is. I feel like, <laughs> oh my god, I lived in this. I I was swimming in this filth because Cali is like what well, um. Like outside of LA is actually not very filthy at all, but New York City is disgusting everywhere <laughs> except for like maybe parts of Queens mm. and like I, an uppity Brooklyn now. That's fucking great. No, uppity Manhattan, Brooklyn. like down even downtown Manhattan is fucking nice in comparison. Ah, I wouldn't go as far. I, I've uh, Lower East Side is shitty. I was there recently. It was like uh, this is still kind of this trash. Up, cause it's How recently? What are you talking about? Uh, like a year or two ago. Uh, okay. Look, man, I will Fairly say recently. to be is fair, too yeah. many people on top of each other. That's the problem. Yeah. Literally, it's all it is. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure New York City is more disgusting than L.A. Like because of the concentration. But let's let's not pretend. I the bad when parts I, when, of L.A. are when fucking I go, disgusting. When I go back, I'm gonna take a picture of this one exit of the freeway. There's the 110 freeway. If you're going, if you're going north on the 110, you get off at Manchester. It is the most disgusting thing you will ever see in your entire life. It is a sea of trash. It's like, you know, like, say, waves crashing on the shore. It's just, I was like, will somebody just take an afternoon and please pick this shit up? It's crazy. Yeah. And then it's there's, bad. like, dudes just chilling in it and shit. They're just fucking, like, because it's, like, a little comfy. And I'm like, this is fucking nuts. And uh, I don't know. It's been a while. Hopefully it's they bad. did something about it. But for years, it's just, I was like, oh, I guess this is the, this is the New, spot. New York is, yeah, New York, New York is dirty, but it's also so dirty that you can drink the tap water and it's great so yeah yeah i don't know what i don't know how i don't know how that works yeah how that works if they didn't clean the tap water there'd be no one there alive (laughs) right exactly (laughs) exactly and here (laughs) and here people and here people drink the tap water and it just fries them slowly and it's just like ah, well that's not i have never drank a cup of tap water in california that's good i think one of my kidneys is a little uh uh, wonky because of it like legit, like, but I I don't drink tap water uh, in general anymore. But for a while, for most of my life growing up, you know, I'd have Kool Aid mixed tap water and stuff. But I remember around like say my early twenties, around twenty twenty one, my left side where my kidney was starting to feel really bad, and I I dude, stopped drinking tap water. <laughs> dude, me me moving to L A was what made me like water. Oh, that's interesting. Because <laughs> I because I didn't like water before because I was like, why the fuck would I drink water? When I could drink anything else that is twice as refreshing and tastes infinitely better. Why would I do that? Like, what purpose? Like, why would I have that when I could have, like, an iced tea or, like, a lemonade or, or a fucking... Especially as a kid, like, a fucking, like, a high C fruit punch or something. Like, this is so much better than a plain-ass cup of water with my fries and shit. What the fuck? Why would I do... Why would I bestow this blandness on me? And then I moved to L.A. And then I had a cup of tap water or, like, a sip of tap water. I was like, oh... <laughs> oh, it, yeah. it it's like it's bland. It's like pain and not, blood. Yeah, it's like oh, it's bland, but it's not horrible. <laughs> so, and then I, I remember, like, I start I started drinking water when I came out here. Like, it, like when I would buy like um you know either filters or uh or, or bottled water like a lot mm. more regularly than I than I would have before. I've always loved water, man. That wait, Poland I feel like dude. it's so inhuman Poland, to not crave water. I feel like it's not even inhuman, sorry, just against nature where like everything craves water essentially. Like, well, everything. the thing to me, well, the well, thing to me, I remember thir- everything has thirst, right? 100%. Everything gets thirsty. The and problem they go is that we have the things water. that quench our thirst that are 
fucking that tastes like candy also because we crave sugar that shit as well doesn't, it just doesn't do it for me it doesn't when there's an extra layer of thickness on a lot of things when i'm really thirsty a soda a lemonade any of that shit doesn't hit the way that say a fro like a water that is almost frozen that has a little bit of front like a little <clears> bit of slush in it jesus christ yeah. that is my favorite like you put a water that is bottle the in the most freezer refre that is the most refreshing thing that's the thing it's the most refreshing by far like nothing is like nothing is like Getting, we've all been fucking hungover, and that 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 one drop of water that touches your tongue, <laughs> one drop, <laughs> feels like salvation. It feels like like real right, divinity yeah, yeah. touching your body, you know? Because that's yeah. when we're thirsty. But when we're drinking, like when we're having, like most of those times, we're not exactly thirsty, but we have we want a so taste something sweet because we're addicted to sugar. Most of us in this country. Well, to me, I we just think in. it's 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 more of just like, well, if I if I'm going to consume something, why would I not want something that tastes like exactly. some flavor? And, and so mm -hmm. and yeah, to add some flavor to it. And we're not fucking deer. Like we don't have to live like a fucking animal where we're just like going on the base necessity. It's like, ooh, a stream. That's all I can hope for. It's like, no, nah, I can get a lemonade. I love lemonade though, personally. Like I'm a I big lemonade, lemonade too. No, I, I love lemonade too. But I, but but at the same time, I do think sincerely that it was hard for me to to drink water for a long time because like when I was really young, I remember almost I almost drowned. Drinking like, water? No, just at like a fucking <laughs> beach. But like Damn, the feeling, dude. but I remember the feeling of swallowing a lot of water and being like, this is fucking like intrinsically like fucked and then as i would get older like i could never like unlink the feeling of genuinely drowning with Jeez. swallowing water that's crazy. like it was like it was just like not that it would like not that it would like send me into like a panic or anything but it was just like uh, what I, I i this is so uh, I, I why would i want this <laughs> like why do i why would i want this if, if I, when i can have a snapple Fair enough. I remember, I remember going to the YMCA and jumping in like the deep side, and I went down so far, it started getting dark, and I was like, <laughs> I also, I also I was remember like, it's getting darker. I also and I didn't know that. I thought in the water it was bright always. I thought the water was no, always no, no, bright. No, 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 no. That I is, was like, I mean. Huh? Uh, yeah, when you're a dumbass kid, yeah, it shit happens. And then but this like really beautiful thick girl came down and grabbed me and like swim me to the top. And I was like, dang, you're really attractive. But also, did you guys know it gets dark when you go down in the water? I was telling my grandma this like she didn't know it already. Because my grandma can't swim, which is hilarious. My grandmother, she's Puerto Rican and Saint Tomian, and she can't swim for her life. She had which no is chance. Insane. But it's insane <laughs> because <laughs> most people in she's Caribbean. They they all know how to swim. Like fishes. It's terrifying there. Like, I'm pretty sure if Caribbeans cared about the Olympic swimming thing and they weren't too busy dominating and running, they would destroy everybody in swimming. <laughs> but, like, she they're can't basically swim. that water, they're, they're that water tribe in, in, in what is it, Avatar? Avatar, too, literally. Or? They're all <laughs> such good. It's literally them and the Japanese and shit. They're all such good swimmers because they have to be, because if they don't swim, they're going to die one day. One day the water's gonna come into town and take them away, but she can't mm. swim. So I was telling my grandma it gets dark in the water, and she almost drowned herself. But she has like she's afraid of deep oh, water. Oh, so like, that's why terrified okay. of it. So that I was just yeah. traumatizing my grandma the whole day about it. Like grandma, it's crazy. It gets dark yeah. now. You know that? I will Sun say too. Can't though, make it down. On, it's the abyss. <laughs> I, I will say too though, as an indictment of water in some way. I do think a part of it too was that it always came in plastic. Or at least the stuff that was readily available to me. And, like, I remember specifically, like, if I had the choice between a cold plastic bottle of Poland Spring. This isn't necessarily true now. Uh, I love Poland Spring now. But, like, at the time, it's like, if I could have a cold plastic bottle of Poland Spring or I could have an, a fucking freezing glass bottle of Snapple. That was, like, c colder by orders of magnitude because it was in glass. And I would be like, this, I, need, I, need the, I need the freezing. I need it. Um, you know what's crazy now for me, dude? I have a take. No. I don't like Snapple tea anymore because it doesn't refresh me at all. It doesn't refresh me at all either. I drink it and I'm like, this doesn't refresh me at all. I don't like this. Yeah. And now I can't drink it anymore. I can't drink teas in general because teas don't refresh me. Oh, I like tea still, mm -hmm. but like uh, I'm trying to wean down on it in general, especially the sugary teas. I'm I'm, I'm drinking like chamomile and stuff like that, but. Mm. There's so much. Also, there's so much water in my house at all time. You've been but here. glass. It's yeah, insane. it's a lot of water. Same. How much water? You in should my just house get a filter. Times. You should just get a filter, though. We buy water. We we shop at Costco, so we buy water like so regularly. Like we just like. Well, you got. Yeah, why not the, just buy a buy filter the, and you just buy plastic get... bottles? Yeah. 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 I know. Come on, man. You need better than that.
I know. Do that shit. We probably want to get a five and the gallon. The filter doesn't make it taste good. The filter then, doesn't make it taste good get, either. Which to is the get worst the reverse part. osmosis five gallons at least, or you can actually spend just a little extra money and they come in glass uh, gallons. You can get a five gallon recycle, of glass. Though. We do. We do actually Nigga, recycle. Recycling very is a fucking fraud. It, it doesn't, that shit ain't it doesn't real help yet. enough. I know. That shit ain't real work at all. It should be real. Life. I'll no. never forget. I'll never forget going to Venice, not Venice Beach, um, Santa Monica Pier, uh, when I was working for uh, when I started working at on Sacred Symbols because we recorded in 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 person at uh, at Colin's place in Santa Monica, and I went to go throw something in the recycling, and I looked in the and the the garbage can had the divider. It was like one single can with a divider. It's like recycle trash, and I threw it in the recycle, and I looked down, and it was just the same bin. <laughs> it was that there was no divider in the bin. I was like, "That's oh, funny. this is fake." That's funny, <laughs> insane. It was so funny. I was like, "Oh, well, this whole thing is a fucking sham." Anyway, let's move on. Uh, I jerk off sixteen times a day, Rodney. He says, "Hey, lads, it's my birthday this month." Mm. Uh, so my question is, have you wasted a birthday wish on something stupid? I wish for another week of spring break and COVID lockdown got announced twenty minutes later. Ooh, very cool. Oh yeah, that's right. It's March. It's about yeah, that's right. March yeah. twenty twenty. Um, I don't do birthday wishes because I'm not a fucking child. Uh, you know, so there's yeah, that. me neither. There's fucking. I no. wasted a birthday. I the only birthday wishes I wasted were the ones that I made by virtue of them being wishes. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. I haven't uh, like an actual like make a wish kind of a thing. I can't remember the last time I've legitimately have thought about wishing for something. No, I just blow out the candles. I'm like, cool. Um. I also don't really even. I don't give a fuck about birthday cakes either, though, because I just want a piece, and there's usually a bunch of cake left over always. <laughs> it's just, I'm like, yeah, there's I'm not- never cake. I'm convinced is something that we pretend to like, because like I cake is fine, but it's like I remember. I remember specifically. I, I would tell my parents, it's like, listen. I don't want. I, I'll have an ice cream cake because that's basically ice cream. Yeah, ice cream cakes. I, I don't mind that, but like. If you give, I don't want a birthday cake. What I want is a, as I, what I want is a lot of pizza. That's, that's my birthday cake for me. So if you're, if you're ever, if, if for whatever reason you're planning a birthday thing, I just want pizza. That's it. Mm. I don't need, I don't need this fucking cake to sit in the fridge for like (laughs) inevitably too long because what are you going to do? You're going to have cake every day? No, you're not. It's insane. And then it's just going to get stale and crumbly and fucked and it's, uh, I don't know. Yeah, when I was a kid, I, I would fuck up some cake. cake, but yeah. There's, there's I, like, I, like cookies, I don't like cake man. anymore. My sweet tooth has disappeared. As as we're getting older, I hate to say it. My sweet tooth is slowly trying to disappear. Where like, if it's not like peanut butter flavored, or like a fruit flavored thing, I just don't want it. I just, I just really mm. just don't want to get out of my face. I hate it. Chocolate chip cookies so, like, are still my thing. I, I'll still fuck up some chocolate chip cookies. Like, I don't um, like I cookies to... anymore. Oh, I man, run out I... of them. I love chocolate, and they're I like still the good fake cookies. I'm not like they're not great cookies, but I just don't I like, really like the them fake cookies either. that they you know they stay soft. Like I don't know what they do to them to oh, keep them man, soft. I hate that. To I me, hate those. it's so deep. I love them, even though it, it is kind Ugh. of in hum- It's it's like foreign to me because when you bake cookies, right, they harden. In, in yeah. So I well, I just yeah. like what the fuck? Do you, I'm wondering what am I eating for them to stay soft like that? Now the answer could be simple, but I, I'm not going to look it up. Of course, I'm not going to look it up and possibly ruin it for me. But uh, sometimes yeah. some stores, man, like. Circle K had this little box of cookies, like chocolate chip cookies for like five bucks, and they were fucking amazing. Like like our Albertsons, they have those those fucking whatever. But I the do only like a, cookies that I, I love would, them. that the only cookies that I would ever really consider to be like oh that was a I really liked that and I would like more were like my mom would just bake them herself, but mm. not that like and not like any special ingredients or anything. She would just bake like standard like chocolate chip cookies like from like general scratch like she wouldn't like make make the dough or anything but like the what is it the fucking the cookie dough that you would get and you would like put the chocolate chips in it and you would bake it and then she would leave it in there for like a little bit not too long but like it would be crisp like really crispy i don't know like the point where like there would be really. dude crisp the, the way the cookie like crumbles is, a, is an expression for a reason like a cookie should never fucking melt I, in your fucking mouth so like my that. thing it's is so gross i put my so my cookies in i put my cookies chewy. in milk but that's so um, wrong almond and milk brother little, but. vanilla almond milk and chocolate chip cookies is like is, is to me that that shit like i would replace like jojo for that if 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 it was unlimited you know what i mean like if if someone was like you can either have your wife that you know you love dearly and everything, or you can have unlimited um, vanilla almond milk and chocolate chip cookies. 
maybe like Chips Ahoy or something or whatever. I would, uh, yeah. I'd be like, all right. I would give up a lot. I would give up a lot for those exact crispy chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> I would like give up Lily only if I knew she would not know why I'm giving her up for it, though. Like, she can't be informed why. Because that would break her. That'd break something, her. Something that it'd, insignificant? Just yeah, it'd, cookies it'd and her. milk? It'd break her. She'd be like, really? Because I love che- I love cheesecake. Like, I love, like, I like... Cause there's good, cause there's like there's like mid cake. Most cake is mid. Some cake is bad, but then there's great cake. A great cake. I like a I like a slice of cheesecake. Well, no, there's like there's like there's some cakes that are like really good cakes. Like damn, like you take a bite and you're like, whoa, yeah, this is delicious. I had had the best cheesecake I ever had in my life at a a place called Juniors in in the city. I think I'm in Juniors too. Actually, is it in Manhattan? Right? It's in Manhattan. Well, there's there's one in um. So in Mount Brooklyn, Vernon, right? I th- or some, there, there's one somewhere else in one of the other boroughs that I that I remember. But like, yeah, Junior, there's one in 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 Mount Times Vernon. Square, and one in Mount Vernon. Yeah, I mean, um, and it's like a red, it's a red diner looking place. But that cheesecake was f- fucking next. I, we went there at the grand opening though, so they were probably like really, they were probably like really prim and on point for like. Mm-hmm. All of it. we just me. I remember me and Anissa showed up there. I, I just happened to be on the grand opening. And I was like, "Oh shit, what the fuck?" Mm. Um, and that was so good. But mm. I think yeah. I'm like Oreo cheesecake is my favorite, man. Oreo cheesecake I've never had or that. chocolate that sounds, cheesecake. That's that sounds what the horrible. Fuck's happening? Oreo cheesecake wow. or chocolate? Oreo cheesecake? What the hell? Had it before? I've never had no. either. Of those. It's just made with little Oreo, like the old little Oreo cookie pieces. It's just pretty much that, like scattered throughout, like not like actually Oreo, but like the cookie part of the Oreo. It's just the crumble, the like that's an ice cream yeah. cake. I like love that kind of Oreo thing. stuff, but when I'm thinking of cheesecake, I'm thinking of a traditional slice of cheesecake, man. Me too. I've had Oreo cheesecake. Fuck no, I've, I've had never like had so a, popular. Holy I've shit! I've had like it's a really chocolate good. Hershey's uh, pie, or like you ever had that Sunday pie? That's just bomb. Yeah, that's just that's just Dude. too sweet for me now. Now I think about is that it, I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it makes my sure. appetite. Is it away. weird? Yeah. Is it weird that like I like a lot of Oreo oriented things? Like I like an Oreo like milkshake and stuff like that. You know, and, like the cookies and cream type Delicious. things. Like I love that. It's great. But like Oreos by themselves, it's such a fucking underwhelming thing in every sense of the word to me. Like that cream feels wrong, and the cookie is kind of eh. As a cookie, it's I never like, eat them by, by itself. Never. I uh, recently bought it's insane um, a vanilla pint of ice cream with some Oreos and stuff, and then I finished the ice cream and I had Oreos left over. I just threw them away. <laughs> I just threw them yeah, away. Yeah. I, was like, I was like, whatever. <laughs> I'm not eating these. <laughs> this is just gonna hurt me if I. I'm not gonna like it, and they're going to hurt me. Yeah. So they, like, <laughs> fuck this. Yeah. It's kind of like whatever. All right. Dude. I, I'm the, gonna get cheesecake for sure. I want to get some cheese. I've had that forever. Yeah, me neither. I'm, yeah, maybe I'll do. Maybe I'll get yeah. something today. Uh, anyway, let's get the fuck on out of here. Yeah. Uh, what's that? Jamaicans have a bobsled team. I actually, I thought I saw a fucking dinosaur outside my window. It was a fucking dinosaur. Mad. A you dinosaur. Yes, it's a friend. That's why. No, like there's people moving in, but they're moving like weird shit in. I know because I see the same shit. You guys are friendly. <laughs> now you know how you know you have schizophrenia is when you start seeing bugs. That's crazy. Mm, when you start seeing true. bugs everywhere. That's true. That's that a, is that's true. apparently like that's apparently real. So if you ever like if you find yourself startled by spiders that aren't there, you should probably call someone. <laughs> anyway, what if, what if you like here. cut your hand and spiders start coming out your skin? What is that then called? You that same fucking <laughs> <then> you, <laughs> same principle. Same principle. Is, yeah. <laughs> I'm asking Even for a more friend. So. I'm asking for a friend. I'm just oh. I'm asking for a friend. My buddy should gotcha. go through that. I don't do that. Just have your friend oh, splash uh, piss on it, and it should heal it. That's crazy. <laughs> you get cut really bad, and you're like, what do I do? And you just open a fucking jug of piss and pour on your wound. Seals <laughs> up. Fresh. All right. Seals. All right. Like Count Wolverine down. just closes up. And it's like, <laughs> what the hell? Game changer. Countdown, can I, baby. Can I voice on? I really don't like. I don't like how in the X-Men movies... Wolverine doesn't have the metal exterior slit things that like he has in the comics, so he doesn't hurt his hands every time he retrieves his claws. That really annoys me. He doesn't have that in the movies, but like whatever, you know. This is me being a person that pays attention to stuff. Doesn't he have a healing factor? Why would he be worried about it hurting him? Because it's still because it doesn't. It's so insane. He's gonna hurt himself every time he uses his powers. He has yeah, the right. things that like literally a metal like his his knuckles have the little little dots on it that they just come right out of that. Because they were probably th- like. In, when they're doing a weapon X thing, they're probably like, "It's dumb that this motherfucker hurts himself every time he uses his powers." 
let's just make a canal to make it easier for him to use his I ability. like that they addressed it, though. I like that they at least addressed it. It's like, does that hurt? And it's like, when they come out, he's every like, every time. time. Every time, Nick. Every time, Nick. Every time. Every time. Come here. Come here, Negro. Rah, come here, rah. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing the he's doing the cage fighting. You have any you have any you have any blacks? You have any darkies here? <laughs> he's just like uh, any blacks. It's Bishop here. <laughs> I'd fight Bishop. <laughs> I'd fight Bishop again. <laughs> fight he's like, monkey. why are you only fighting Bishop? I don't know. <laughs> I don't he know. seems he's, dangerous, doesn't he? <laughs> he seems dangerous. All right, three, two, one. Future Negroes got to watch out for him. <laughs> got to watch out for the future blacks. <laughs> <laughs> future blacks. <laughs> All right, whatever, whatever you're ready, Chris. Yeah, count me down. Right. Three, two, one. Miguel O'Hara's trans mask pussy. I I wipe once and let God do the rest. Gay NB, wait and bleed. Uh, I felt they they I felt they they their dick up in me. Kneel down, I'm queer and on my knees. McJackal, eighteen naked cowboys in the showers at Ram Ranch. Cytherea's conjured squirt sword using Sween's curtains to wipe the sun come off him. How do you make the names go longer? It won't let me that. Uh, Jack, the world's fastest Maori. Love you guys. My piece is so big they call it one cock. Forcing uh, forcing my cancer-riddled son to use his make-a-wish to get Keith David on the Stark Tank. Big meaty stinks. Andy, the man whose handies are S-tier and dandy. Brownest white supremacist. Uh, I could have gotten a tad tattoo of anything and chose fucking rise against Heath Smoker, Chris, Chris's progerian anal dwelling vestigial twin waiting for him to stop eating Chipotle. You gay cringe gay come. I wish she was Pipkin on my Pippa. Uh, homeless trans femme who comes. Actually, that's only with a deposit of 300, 300. It's 300 or more, I think. I'm pretty sure. Uh, shit. Felina Poof, we ain't in Fairytopia no more. Lil B, the base god, asking Selma Cash Money for feed picks on Twitter. Dead serious. Joe Biden's inner thoughts are dial-up sounds. SpongeBob, piss pants, Mr. Pants. Uh, when when things look gay and your ass is up against his balls, your whole existence seems fucking homo. It's a lo- it's a loser, baby. You bitch. Mm. Oh, uh, when things look gay. Oh, I see. I, yeah, okay, I get it. From <laughs> fucking ha- from uh, Hasbin Hotel. With Keith David. Baller of the first sin. Spum befutters. Gay offspring be like, uh, open his fart box, reach inside. Gonna suck this fucker's cock because I got a gay habit. <laughs> uh, jolly old dipshit. Imagine <laughs> imagine faggins. I'll imagine swallow faggins. you way down as far as you can go. Swallow you way down till you fill my throat. I don't know what song that is. Mm. Um, the, the real soul's boss is my crumbling nervous system Topher laser pistol cypher graph if chun had a penis I would suck it vis- vigorously um, mm. uh, two mad six under jumper by third eye blind I wish you would just give me some head my friend uh, you could get by without the eye that I put that I put semen in rumors by Fleetwood Mac Dom I'm squirting get a glass I want to see it they call me hostile a hostile takeover of dudes butts and gay covers a makeover post mortem come shots at a f- at a f- at the funeral on him, uh, and as always, rounding out our list: back to tank of cum, Caucasian container, cracker barrel for gays, Donald Trump burping on Dom's clit, Chris wearing earplugs in bed to role play being deaf and blind. All I want to do is gaily <laughs> fuck your tight poo poo because I love smelling doo doo on my on my wang or whatever. The fuck is this? It's so incomprehensibly written. That's she cooking on my pippa. Uh, possum is the only. Em- Empathetic person from Long Island. Uh, Soy Chris. Me gusta verga negra. Uh, My partner um, just bought an entire PS5 to play Helldivers 2, but we're homeless. Uh, Just the hard R. Um, Star Coffee. Hey, oh, I'm so fucking gay. Oh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Gay Blade. Gay Blade. I like that. Come to death by the voice voice actress for Spider Gwen. My son froze to death in the wastes of Ohio by going homeless to pay you fucks. And now this is his... Now... uh, this is now his memorial, Rip John. Transfem Gremlin, Rip. exposing people to lactose intolerance uh, to 90 millions of rodents of ionizing radiation. Uh, you should not Vin Pen, Craig the Canadian, the list of all the people uh, with whom the Queen and I had depraved relations, real document. It's your boy, Shawnee D. Edward Sigma, the Rizzler. I live in Philly and everything you guys said is true. Also, I saw a horse running down I-95 all by itself. Cheap voice, you're listening to 98.3 Smooth FM, the classiest station in D.C. Next up is Shit in the Woods by Macklemore. 3XO, imploring everyone to look up uh, Bipolar Betty on TikTok. I I knows that she I knows that she breathes good. I don't know what this is. Mm. Slurping, stroking, smoking, joking, emoticons nope. going like this. Drip MH, Lord of Homeless Drip. Fuck you, pa- Patreon. Let me put my punctuation. Let me put punctuation in my name. 
uh, suck my tiny hairy balls. Obi won't you blow me? Jackson Vernon, uh, Norwegian game dev playing, uh, paying. So Derek cares. Tom, this is Kayla. Leave me the fuck. Leave me and my fucking family alone. Um, she wouldn't call you Tom. First off, she's a uh, single parent, bro. That's life is life is good, bro. I, I'm not very petty <laughs> often, but like, damn. I'm a big bitch. dog, big bear, fellas. I'm a lion. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna steal your bones. You wouldn't download a car, gooning till I Kurt Cobain myself with cum. Abby, Derek, your penis is out. Gay Wolverine yeah. be like semen barrage. Semen <laughs> <laughs> uh, barrage. <laughs> wait, wage slave five eighty three. A sad guy from Michigan. Also, maybe maybe some of you masturbating. Maybe uh, one standing and one with your ass in it. Maybe one with the butthole showing. The Papini brothers hold Derek's engraved glasses. Uh, Chris's audio remote and Sweeney's Dink Lord, yeah. Discord link for ransom. Donk Donkerson installing a new a faulty neural link in Chris's head that plays Thunder on repeat. You guys got to pay the troll soul to get in the boys' hole. Gate six. Man plus man equals gay. Woman plus woman equals gay. Both are half gay. Ergo, man plus woman equals gay. You're gay. Nice. That's, I mean, mathematically, that. I don't know if that squares exactly, but um, it's fair enough. Racist fiddler on the roof be like if I were if I were a rich man. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> what kind of name is soap anyway? Uh, you some kind of Muppet? Sweeney thinks eels have superpowers. <laughs> ah, help! Fuck an evil lesbian. Home Alone uh, six. Enter the Homeverse. Uh, a shit so nice I had it twice. John Strickland finally got a mason jar big enough to hold the, to fit the Chris Reagan on YouTube's Merck's 1889. I've been in my bag. I can't even talk. Me chase a bitch, man. I can't even walk. Uh, the first Church of Keith David singing uh, Sagala Booba, Magic of Booba, Flibbity, Flibbity, Flubes, uh, or Boobs, or whatever. Uh, second Church of Keith David featuring uh, being better than the first Church of Keith David. Pre Rise, Blake 896. People really like Asterix and Obelisk. Uh, uh, bruh, it's literally just a small junkie and some fat fuck. Getting laid for mispronouncing that one African country. A little dick rag. Lost my job at Kohl's. So they caught me playing mm. with the mannequins boobs. Uh, Alaskan oil field trash. Texas tater salad. Chris gave me a burp fetish. Sue Hulk. Tickle my ass hairs. Nikki Ziggy. The cream in your sister's pie. Wicket 909. Jackson DuPont. Badly brave. Hugger Derek. Duck Hunt. The vegan necromancer. I got consent. Athe- Aetherian. Virginian hunter. Or Virginian punter. Uh, Melfus won the angriest crowd for enjoying the view from the Dooley Plaza on the sixth floor. And running out our list is uh, the king. The king of haphazard. Oh, my God. Ha- Hazard, the in, king. Entered, in inwarded. Ugh. We had to we had to be a little short today. Uh, Derek uh, had uh, he was like waiting in the. I had a boo boo. He had a boo boo and he was waiting in the ER. <laughs> he was waiting in the emergency Sometimes room. Sometimes my cum is pink. Why is no. it pink, felt? I'm on the cusp. Why is my cum bright? I'm pink? on the cusp of of uh, figuring out what the hell's going on with my stomach. And uh, it's probably cancer, though, so it's pretty cool. It's probably not, but, you know. We, we, we never right be too pick, careful. Fellas. And if it is cancer, right, then right I'm just going to go postal on everybody. It's going to be fun. That would be so fucking annoying. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's get the fuck out of here. Why is it bright pink, fellas? My cum looks like strawberry shortcake. 